Jor Karim is an American software engineer and internet entrepreneur. He is the co-founder of YouTube and the first person to upload a video to the site. This inaugural video, titled Me at the Zoo and uploaded on April 24, 2005, has been viewed 168 million times, as of June 1, 2021. During Kareem's time working at PayPal, where he met the fellow YouTube co-founders Stephen Chen and Chad Hurley, he had designed many of the core components including its real-time anti-internet fraud system. Chapter 1, Early Life Jord Kareem was born on October 28, 1979, in Merseburg, East Germany, to a Bangladeshi father and a German mother. His father Namal Kareem is a Muslim Bangladeshi, who works as a researcher at 3M, and his mother, Christine, is a German scientist of biochemistry at the University of Minnesota. He was the elder of two boys. He crossed the inner German border with his family in the early 1980s because of xenophobia, growing up in Neuss, West Germany. Experiencing xenophobia there as well, Karim moved with his family to St. Paul, Minnesota, in 1992. He graduated from St. Paul Central High School in 1997, and attended the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. He left campus prior to graduating to become an early employee at PayPal, however, he continued his coursework, earning his bachelor's degree in computer science. He subsequently earned a master's degree in computer science from Stanford University. In addition to English, George speaks German and Bengali. Chapter 2, Career? In university, Karim served an internship at Silicon Graphics Incorporated, where he worked on 3D voxel data management for very large data sets for volume rendering, including the data for the Visible Human project. While working at PayPal in 2002, he met Chad Hurley and Steve Chen. Three years later, in 2005, they founded the video sharing website YouTube. Kareem created the first channel on YouTube, Jord, on April 23, 2005 PDT, and uploaded the website's first video, Me at the Zoo, the same day. After co-founding the company and developing the YouTube concept and website with Chad Hurley and Steve Chen, Kareem enrolled as a graduate student in computer science at Stanford University while acting as an advisor to YouTube. When the site was introduced in February 2005, Kareem agreed not to be an employee and simply be an informal advisor, and that he was focusing on his studies. As a result, he took a much lower share in the company compared to Hurley and Chen. Because of his smaller role in the company, Kareem was mostly unknown to the public as the third founder until YouTube was acquired by Google in 2006. Despite his lower share in the company, the purchase was still large enough that he received 137,443 shares of stock, worth about $64 million based on Google's closing stock price at the time. In October 2006, Kareem gave a lecture about the history of YouTube at the University of Illinois annual ACM conference entitled YouTube From Concept to Hyper Growth. Kareem returned again to the University of Illinois in May 2000, and eight as the 136th and youngest commencement speaker in the school's history. Chapter 3, Investments In March 2008, Kareem launched a venture fund called University Ventures with partners Keith Raboy and Kevin Hartz. Kareem is one of Airbnb's first investors, investing in the company's initial seed round in April 2009. Why Ventures has also invested in Palantir, Reddit, and Eventbrite. Chapter 4, Response to Google Plus Integration with YouTube On November 6, 2013, YouTube began requiring that commenting on its videos be done via a Google Plus account, a move that was widely opposed by the YouTube community. An online petition to revert the change garnered over 240,000 signatures. In response to Google requiring YouTube members to use Google Plus for its comment system, Kareem wrote on his YouTube account, Why the fuck do I need a Google Plus account to comment on a video? and updated the video description on his first video titled Me at the Zoo to I can't comment here anymore, since I don't want a Google Plus account. 
In response to pressure from the YouTube community, Google publicly apologized for forcing Google Plus users to use their real names, which was one of the reasons the Google Plus integration was unpopular with YouTube users. Google subsequently dropped its Google Plus requirement across all products, beginning with YouTube. Google announced in October 2018 its intention to permanently shut down Google Plus, as it had failed to achieve broad consumer or developer adoption, and because of a vulnerability. Google Plus was closed for personal accounts on April 2, 2019.